It's finally Friday and we can talk about the new makeup releases and talk about the things that have been released and sneak peeked and we can chat about whether or not we want to pick these things up and we're all trying to shop a little less, right? Only me? <laughs> I'm trying to shop a little less. Can you believe, I was looking back now, like how long have I been doing these? I released my first new makeup releases on October the 25th, 2017. That's almost six years of me coming back each week talking about makeup releases. I know these videos are very, very popular on YouTube to do, and I'm so grateful that you're still here with me after these many years talking about makeup, listening to my opinions, but let's jump in because there are some things that none of us should be buying. I'm super excited because I once again teamed up with Halara for the beginning part of this video. So thank you so much, Halara, for sponsoring this video. And I wanna share with you some new things that I have found at Halara. I have quite a few things from Halara and they're always in rotation. I'm always using them. And I just think they make such good comfortable loungewear, workwear, everything wear, honestly. I wear them out and about, I wear them at home. I think they have the perfect crossover between really, really comfortable styles and also really stylish things. So it doesn't look like you're going out in your PJs, even though it feels like you're going out in your PJs. And I do have a couple of more tights to show you. I have really been discovering how comfortable it is with tights. And Halara has a wide range of different tights in different materials, different styles. They just fit beautifully. It has great sizing. I have all of my things in a small and I would say I'm a typical small. So I think their sizing is really good. And one thing that I really love about their tights is that you can get them extra long. And I have, if you didn't know, extra long legs. I have no torso. I am all legs no torso. So the way that I can get these with extra long legs and just have them go all the way down, I really, really appreciate that. I also have another pair of these like really comfortable. They look like dress pants, but they feel like just joggers, like PJs. If I was still working in the office, I would only be wearing pants with Halara. I can tell you right now, they look like you care, but they feel like you don't. I just can't believe that we are living in a time where you can get pants that look like they're gonna be those uncomfortable dress pants, but just feel like clouds. I also got a couple of dresses this time. This one is a dress that's maybe a little bit more revealing than what I usually go for, but it's kind of nice to have this nice material that they have in their tights, also in this like kind of like a party dress. Isn't that not like a really fun dress to be wearing out and about? And it's just a really nice material. Oh, and it also came with like those like detachable things that you can have for your cups. I usually take those out, but I know a lot of people really like them. And I love that the dresses come with those and you can take them out if you don't want them or put in extra if you want that. But my favorite dress is actually this one. It's this dark, like not even dark blue. It's like a, almost like a Klein blue. And it has that length that I really love that is just below the knees. I just like that length so much. I think it's so sexy and stylish. And it has a low back with a little ruching in the back. And this material is so lovely. It is ribbed. It is like really soft and it just falls beautifully. This, this, I'm going to Greece. This will be a perfect Greece dress. It is so pretty. It is so well fitting. I love it. This with heels, this with sandals. I can't believe how many good things Halara has. And you know how much I love my overalls from Halara. I decided to get them in a different color. I have these in orange. They're absolutely amazing. I, again, I wear these here at home. I even wore them in videos. It is so comfortable. It is so stylish. And they also like, they're just, they're the perfect garment and I've already worn them out and about. Like again, walking my dogs, they do have pockets. This will be so great traveling. I can already see myself traveling, like wearing these and I got them in a green. They're so good, definitely check these out. But this is the absolute biggest surprise. Like I said, I love the length that is just below the knee. This is a pencil skirt, but it is in that super comfortable material. You can look like a sexy librarian without having that super tight, pinching, uncomfortable pencil skirt. This is so good. I need this in another color. I am already in love with this one. So comfortable, so well fitting. You can wear this with a t-shirt, with a blouse, with a top, with anything. You could wear this to the movies, on a date. I am so excited to have this kind of a classic, well-fitting skirt in this comfortable material. This, I am blown away by how nice this was. And this was just an impulse thing that I added. 
It is so good. I will leave information about all the things that I picked up, what colors I have, and all of that down below in the description box. Thank you again so much, Halara, for sponsoring my video. I really love these things. And this skirt, it's so good. I am so excited. So don't forget to check the description box for more info, and let's jump into the rest of the video. The first one that I want to talk about, which is like, what are we doing? Like, why are we, what have we done to deserve this? Is that another brand is coming out with these plumping, painful things. Oh, I didn't scooch over. <laughs> Let me scoochie scoochie. And we can pop up the Charlotte Tilbury. So Charlotte Tilbury is re-releasing and also releasing some stuff for spring. I think she's coming out with some new colors. And to nobody's surprise, it is based around Pillow Talk. If you thought something else, you have not been paying attention these past maybe also six years if we're going to be honest. So she is releasing a lipstick and a lip liner in Pillow Talk Fair. So she has Pillow Talk, I think she has Pillow Talk Medium, and now she has Pillow Talk Fair. Why you ask? Money, I guess is the answer to all of this. She's also releasing her collagen lip baths, which are really nice. Uh, glosses that are a little bit more watery and pillowy on the lips. She's releasing them in some new shades. It is again the Pillow Talk Fair, Pillow Talk Medium, and then Pillow Talk Intense. Of course she has. So now she has four Pillow Talks? Girl, somebody needs to hire her creative director. Like, there has got to be other names. Like, can she not afford to trademark more things? Are all the good names taken? What's going on over there? Like, I'm asking for a friend. She's also re-releasing the Multi Glow Highlighters, which makes me very excited. I'm gonna dig mine out of my stash. I have mine, I love it. I have the darker one. I think these are beautiful. These were hyped for a little time and then people forgot about them, I think last year, but they are beautiful. I really enjoy mine, but that's not what we're actually here to talk about because all of this is just existing products that are either coming back or coming out in new shades. She is releasing Oh, it's called the Pillow Talk? Of course it is. Of course, of course it is. The Pillow Talk Big Lip Plump Gasm. That didn't really roll off the tongue now, does it? It's only in two shades, and this is supposed to be a lip oil with plumping abilities. I'm guessing it's a chili lip oil. And it is in Pillow Talk Medium Deep and in Pillow Talk Fair Medium. Oh, look at her. She she combined. You did, did a little combined ruski there. Okay, good for you. I'm not trying this. I actually, re I know I sound very negative in this segment. It's only because I'm so sick and tired of Pillow Talk. I really like Charlotte Tilbury's glow products and I really like Charlotte Tilbury's lip products. So I'm sure these are gonna be good, pro like a good quality, but I don't need another brand, especially not an expensive brand like this, to come out with one of those like chili lip thingies. They make your lips turn red and they sting and they might plump, but only for a bit in exchange for them hurting. You can get this from NYX. You want a plumping thing? Get it from NYX. Get it from an affordable brand. They're all pretty much the same. You do not need to pay Charlotte Tilbury prices for that. She has some very good sophisticated lip formulas, but I would not put Charlotte Tilbury money into a chili oil. That's just me. Maybe you're super excited. Something else that I say none of us need, but I am sure that 99.9% .9 of you disagree. Please do not thumbs down this video. Let's be friends. But the Bridgerton and Bath and Body Works collab. Okay, I've, I, I've never sounded less American than right now. Bath and Body Works is really overrated. They only do like three different scents and they just name them different things. It, it, <laughs> God, I'm getting myself canceled. Don't hate me. Don't unsubscribe, okay? I, I have other qualities <laughs> besides this. Oh, this should have been a cocktail. But the thing is that this collab, I think it's already available. Oh, the early access starts on the 13th. This is going to be 32 items. 32. Yes, you heard that correctly. 32. I don't want to see anyone that likes this ever complain about another big collection ever again. 32 items and it says five different scents but i'm guessing that this is just going to be a slight variation of the scents that like bath and body works does just with a bridgerton sticker on it and i don't get it i really don't get it i would have loved for someone that does a little bit more complex and interesting scents to T do a take on Bridgerton and maybe I'll have to eat my own hat. Maybe this will be amazing, but just looking from like the pictures that I've seen of the 
packaging so far, it looks very Bath & Body Work Bridgerton. There, that's, that's not something I want to display. Maybe inside of a closet. I'll display it there. So some of the scents for this collection is going to be Diamond of the Season with Champagne Notes. They do that from before. It's a tea fragrance called Queen Charlotte's Tea. That might be interesting, but it might also lean into something that they already do. And then it's going to be a fragrance that is scented after a study in the Bridgerton house. And I think that that might be interesting unless that goes into every other cologne scented candle that they do because it very well might so i i look at this and i think probably not <laughs> probably not i don't think the stickers or the packaging looks cute at all 32 items is way too many items to make each item really good and it just seems like they picked scents and then released them in everything that they have and i don't need a Bridgerton body splash with champagne notes. I, maybe I'm being harsh. May, listen, maybe you're super excited about this and you're like right now in the comments in caps lock telling me that I am absolutely wrong. Please let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts. But for me, this is an easy, easy pass. Now that I'm saying that, I'm not, but maybe I do want to go and sniff it. I will say though that Bath & Body Works, things sell out very quickly for some weird reason. Always when I'm there, it's always so picked over. So maybe it's just that I haven't smelled the good things. That could also be it. Oh, now we know the Nomad Cosmetics release as well. I had a video on that last week. If you're interested in seeing their take on Ireland as a destination, that palette, I think it's released as well. And you can pick it up if you're interested. I really like, I'm wearing the palette today. Oh my God, I'm, I actually did a third look. I'm wearing the palette today with this look right here. Oh, I should tell you as well. I forgot to tell you, I'm gonna have tonight I'm gonna have a membership chat, like a member Zoom with the members of my channel of tier two and tier three. That information is on the community tab. You can see it if you are part of my membership and if you are tier two or tier three, forgot to talk about that in the beginning, that is happening tonight. And all the info is gonna be in the community tab. If you wanna join in, you can always join in. Even if you're joining now, you can still enter like the Zoom. The information will be in the join button that's next to the subscription button or the link that's in my description box in case you wanna read up more about that forgot to say that but i did film this like quick little get ready with me actually for instagram because i just I, I wanted to listen to youtube videos while i was doing my makeup so that's what i did but yeah that palette is available now as well and so far i'm really enjoying it this is the third look that i'm doing with the palette i wanted to do something super simple non-complicated i only use three different shades and I really like it. I think it's a really fun palette and I've had a lot of fun with it. And I like that you're able to do something that looks really nice and fun without using 2 million shades. So I, so far, I really like it. Of course, I have to try it a little bit more before I review it, but I think it's a fun one. Also, people have been asking me about my haul. Where is my monthly haul? I kind of forgot it's coming on Monday. Oops. Ooh, this one is releasing today as well. Finally, the Glam Light and Kiss collab is here. So many of you have been asking me about that one. So many that I actually asked Giselle, the owner of, um, I was gonna say Kiss, no. The owner of Glam Light asked her when I was in LA last time and I met her and I asked her like, what's going on with the Kiss collab? I'm being bombarded with questions. And she said, it just got a little delayed, but it's releasing soon and it's time. It's releasing today. I don't know if I'm getting this in PR or not. I haven't decided if I'm gonna pick it up myself. I need to look over my schedule and see if I actually have time to film with this if I end up picking it up because I really do like I mean I think a couple of you have been saying like some of this looks very familiar to what they have done before and I think you might be right in that but I really do like the combination of the purple and the red row that la red row row <laughs> <laughs> that the last two rows i think that looks really cool and i really like that there's a very light shade in here as well and i think that could be something for me so i'm on the fence if i have not because i don't want it because if my dog is here she's so dramatic if i don't end up buying it on release i'll end up buying it on a restock if i am like i don't know if i have time to film with this 
but I, I do want to own this sooner or later. And yeah, it's being released today. There is a palette and it's only $36. I mean, there's quite a few shades in here. There's 15, 20 shades. That's pretty good. There's a lip kit, a mascara duo. There is a mirror and then there is a black and white basis. I think that's pretty cool because they're doing it um, kiss collab you can use that for your eyes if you don't want to like do your full face a la kiss there is a makeup bag and then you can buy the full collection with the PR box and then you can buy the full collection without the PR box and the makeup bag is not included in the full collection you have to buy that one separately just so you know I am intrigued by this but like I said I don't know if I have time to review it so if I don't end up getting it in PR I think I might buy it on a restock just to own the palette because I like glam light I like glam my palace that's what i did with the was that terror on elm street i didn't buy it on launch uh, instead i bought it when i could get it on uh, on a sale which was pretty good i mean i can always use my own code and get 15 percent off but yeah we'll see how i do about this one i really like that like bright red with the, the purple like and the lavender is next to it i think that looks very appealing to me let me know what you think about this I am guessing if this collection sells good, I'm guessing there's going to be more rock collabs. We're moving away from horror into rock. Keep them on their toes, I guess. Another thing that has been sneak peeked, and I don't know if this is true or not, but I'm guessing it is. And that is that there might be a collab going on between ColourPop and Pokemon. I saw a picture shared by Makeup On Your Radar of somebody that has shared like the PR that they have gotten. So I'm guessing that this is in the works. I actually never played Pokemon. I never watched a TV show. I think I am in again, the wrong generation. I think I am too old for this because I know um, my husband who is six years younger than me, he used to play Pokemon and he was into Pokemon. So I think that the, the fact that he is six years younger than me, he was into playing that when he was like the right age for that. And I had already like moved on and was into other things instead. But I think that there's such a core group that is so excited about Pokemon that I really think that this could be really exciting as long, I, I, I'm gonna say this and this is gonna be very unpopular, but the people that complain about every collab that's being done, can you please not? Colourpop is not going to make your perfect collab. I cannot remember the last time I heard a single person say that any brand did any collab justice. All I hear is people saying that they didn't do it justice. They are never going to do exactly what you're imagining in your head. That's just not going to work. And sometimes also when I see people mock up what they would like things to be, I look at it and I'm like, that would never sell. Who's going to buy that? Because sometimes what looks good on TV screen or what the characters scarves and pants and eyeballs are having it's just not gonna work in makeup and sometimes things are just not possible so i'm guessing this is probably going to be another one of those twilight ones where people are complaining about that it doesn't represent anything and then it still sells out that's what I'm, do i sound very negative yes but as a person that breeds makeup like i read about makeup all the time i work with makeup i love makeup and i just see so much negativity every time there is any collab of people that had their mind set on a specific thing not realizing that everybody else had the same and everybody else's specific thing are different they're just not going to create your perfect thing it's just not happening and sometimes it's just not possible either because most TV shows are made up of all colors and then every collab would just be a rainbow palette and then everyone would be upset about that. So sometimes you do have to make some creative choices when it comes to collabs to make stuff make sense. For me, for example, the Avatar The Last Airbender palette from Colourpop, that palette was so good i loved that palette everything made sense in the palette everything went together there was even lightening up shades there was a darkening up shade that was part of earth bending that was dark enough so you can darken up all the other shades with it it was a genius shade but people were saying it's not green enough if they had put in a green in there it would have been a twister collab 
it would have been a rainbow palette. Like sometimes creative choices need to, I sound super naked. I need to move. I'm getting myself canceled twice in this episode. I'm just saying I am expecting people to be super disappointed because that is what happens when anyone does a collab with something that's really popular. There is just no way for any brand to capture the nostalgia of something. That nostalgia, you can't, it's, it's not, you're not able to capture that. So I do hope that unless it's absolutely appalling, I do hope that we can see that sometimes creative choices has to be made for the sake of things actually coming into fruition. Oh, don't hate me. I don't even play Pokemon. <laughs> Speaking of collabs, I don't really exactly know what this is, but this is something that Little Cosmetics showed a couple of days ago, and it is saying it's coming. A lot of people are saying that this is Avatar The Last Airbender. Speaking of that, they did tag Nickelodeon, Paramount Plus, Nickelodeon Dutch, and Paramount Plus Dutch. This could be Lethal Cosmetics, which is a German indie brand, doing a collab with Avatar The Last Airbender, which is going to be the cartoon version then, I guess? Right? Because that's the one that's like, I don't know. Let me know. Let me know. What do you think this is? Do you think it's that? I love Lethal Cosmetics. Those new single shadows that they release, they are so nice and I'm very excited. And again, if this isn't exactly what you were dreaming about, and again, I'm coming from someone who actually really liked the collab that Colourpop did. I thought it was great. I still have the palette in my collection. I bring it out every now and then and use it off camera. I think it's beautiful. Be nice to them. <laughs> this is an indie brand. Be nice to them. I understand we all have like some things we love and we want to defend, but like I see so many people like, oh my God, I hope they do it justice. And it's like, Ooh, remember you're just one person and it's, possible that they won't give you the version that you had in your head oh i really hope that this will go well because i love lethal cosmetics and i would hate for them to get negative feedback regarding stuff like this lisa eldridge is releasing either a foundation or a skin tint or something and it says you're just two drops away from your best skin day this is coming on the 19th and i Two drops tells me that it's something that you need very little of. I don't know, but it's like, it's also like drops. I mean, you see drops here. I'm very excited to see what this is. I actually might pick this one up. I do like Lisa Eldridge. I didn't buy the eyeshadows and I didn't buy the eyeliner or the mascara because the eyeshadows, I can't get on board with those colors. Like it won't... It was like colors that I didn't really like in formulas that I wasn't really interested in. It was like, it has to have at least one of the two, but this, this I can get on board with. She does have a foundation and that foundation is beautiful. So I'm excited to see what this is. Two drops away, best skin day. She has a foundation. This is probably a skin tint, right? Is that what we're guessing? We'll find out soon, I guess. Oh, we did talk about this last week and now I, in the video, I was saying that I hadn't seen the inside of the new Adept palette. This is also launching today. This is Cyborg Choir. Am I gonna buy this? See, I was hoping there was gonna be more mattes, but this is one row of mattes and two rows of shimmers. And I'm just like, oh, cause I really like the Adept mattes. I just, I want more mattes. I want more mattes than shimmers. I just don't know. It's $79, and that's also like, this could have been $69 or $65 with two rows of mattes and one row of like shimmers and special shades. I just, I do really like the color combo though of that bright yellow with that like wine berry red. Mm, I think it's holographic shadows as well. Should I get it? Again, I don't know if I'll have time. 
I'll think about it. I'll think about it and we'll see if I got it or not. But yeah, she did show the inside of this palette. Um, when I was editing the videos, I was able to put in the picture last week, but now we're able to talk about it. I thought this was going to be a pastel palette because of the front, but it is definitely not a pastel palette. I still think that this is a really, really fun palette. I just, again, I wish there was a couple of more mattes that would have been so much better for me personally. And I know there's so many people out there that love Adept because they do more shimmers than mattes. Just for me, I usually always use more mattes than shimmers. So I want the ratio to be more mattes than shimmers. Otherwise, I am kind of like put in a corner of like what kind of looks I can do because I'm gonna need more than one matte and there's like not as many combinations. So again, this is just a personal preference, but it looks pretty though. Is this what you thought it was going to be? I thought it was going to be a pastel palette. I was way off. Kasha Beauty is releasing a dewy bar blush and lip balm. And I've been really into like uh, cream blushes and stuff like that. But this one, since it says dewy bar and also the swatches look very dewy, I think I'm going to skip on this one because sometimes when they say dewy it can be one of those formulas that still look dewy on the skin but it actually dries down and it just feels a little creamy but not sticky but then there are some of those that say dewy and they do be looking and feeling very dewy and i can't do a sticky cheek i know that pixie had those i didn't love those on me because i feel like they felt sticky on my cheeks and there's been a couple of ones like that that i'm just like i can't get on board so I'm thinking that this might not be for me. And also none of the colors is like drawing me in where I'm like, oh, I need it. So I think I'm gonna skip on this one. It always feels nice to be like, oh, that was nice. I'm just gonna skip on that. Rare Beauty has extended the positive light soft touch highlighters with two deep shades, which is a warm copper and a deep bronze. I think this is great. But I am surprised about... Okay, some brands are just the sweethearts of the beauty community. They can do no wrong and everybody loves them. The fact that this did not cause a bigger uproar, that deeper shades clearly was an afterthought. I mean, they are now releasing their two deep shades. They did not have any deep shades before, apparently. These are now the two deep shades. The fact that this is being released as an afterthought and that is basically creating no ripple effect whatsoever in the beauty community, it shows me that, it shows me something that I already knew, that not all brands are treated equally. Some brands just cannot do anything wrong. And even when they're clearly showing that a deeper skin tone was an afterthought, it doesn't really create anything of a ripple effect and then some brands will do the exact same thing and it will make headlines. I don't know if I think any of the ways is ideal but I do wish that if we made an uproar about one of the brands maybe we could at least acknowledge that Rare Beauty is also now like what one year later coming out with deeper shades which is not good. I mean honestly Maybe some of the deepest shade they had before worked on a deeper skin tone too, and they just wanted to give more options. That could be true. I clearly do not have deep skin, so I don't know. I'm just surprised that I haven't heard anyone talk about this at all, and I do watch a lot of makeup commentary and makeup news. With that being said, the shades look beautiful. This is not my favorite highlighter formula. This is extremely metallic, extremely blinding. I mean, so is this. But this does, this looks like wet, like I think it looks like glassy, glowy, wet skin. This looks like a highlighter. Uh, according to me, my opinion, you're free to disagree. I know so many people have this as their favorite highlighter. I think it's good. It's just not my absolute favorite. I think these shades are already available at Sephora. At least I could see the listing at Sephora. Everything I'm talking about, it's going to be in the description box down below. I'll put as much info there as possible together with some links and some codes and if we have release dates. And if you do shop through my links, thank you so much for supporting my channel because my links are affiliated and I do earn a small commission if you do that. Too Faced is releasing some Chocolate Soleil Melting Bronzing Sculpting Sticks and I think that that 
that makes total sense. They've had some chocolate soleil bronzing, like powder bronzers, and now they're releasing stick bronzers because cream bronzers have been all the rage these past couple of years. I think this is a really smart idea. Four shades is not a great amount of shades, but I do think that there is somewhat of a gradient going on between these and the dark one does seem to go pretty deep. I honestly think when I look at these that I could probably get away with the lighted shade, but I might go for the second one just to be sure. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm intrigued by this. Maybe I like it. Does it smell like chocolate? Does it smell like chocolate? Smells like chocolate covered oranges. Oh, sold, sold, sold. You had me at chocolate covered oranges. Definitely. A million percent, yes. ELF is also re-releasing their powder bronzers and their powder blushes. These are just in new shades and new packaging. It is the primer infused blushes and the primer infused bronzers. I have not tried these, but I do think that it's a good idea to extend the shade range again, like I said. I don't know which shades are new, which are old, but it does seem to have a pretty good gradient now. And it seems like the blushes do go from light to pretty deep. I'm not interested in getting any of these um, right now because there are some other bronzer products that I am intrigued by, but have you tried these? Do you think they're good? I feel like I heard a lot of people talking about these primer infused blushes some years back that they were really good, but it also says something that nobody is mentioning them now. Maybe they weren't that good. LH Cosmetics is coming out with some false lashes and some lash adhesive. When I look at these lashes, they don't look like lashes I would like, but then when I see them on the models and I've seen them on Linda herself, they look absolutely stunning. LH Cosmetics did tell me that they were sending these my way. They're also coming out with a lash adhesive. These I think are already available and I'm very intrigued because Linda always has really, really good lashes and I'm excited to see them send them to me and to recognize that I do love a good false lash. So I am gonna try these out and I'm gonna see how they are. They have a creator, a rock star, a hero, and a bestie. I'll try them out. I'll see how they look. They seem to have a thin band, so this will probably be pretty easy for me if I want to cut a bit because I do like more of a half lash than a full strip lash. I'm excited to try it out. I'm surprised that it took this long for them to release this, but I do think it's sometimes to create something really good that really represents a, a brand, it takes a little time. Speaking of bronzers, there's another bronzer product. This is from RAM, RMS Beauty. That was hard to say. This is the Redimension Hydra Bronzer. So this is like riding the coattails of the popular blush in the same formulation, I'm guessing. And they are now releasing a bronzer and it seems to be a little bit of a glowy situation sugar based gel to powder texture huh these the color of these maybe they're very buildable but i do think that all of these seem to have the same depth but when they're showing them on models they're definitely showing them on different skin tones sometimes something can if it's very good formulated a powder product can show up even darker on your skin and just build than it does in the pan if it's very well formulated i know the matte bronzer from charlotte tilbury works like that the matte bronzer from pat mcgrath works like that beautiful formulation that actually builds up on the skin and looks effortless and has almost that transparent base where it just builds on your skin but still adapts a little bit it's absolutely stunning maybe this is the same thing and also since it is a little seems to be a little not glowy but shimmery like a little glow to it also could be working in a different way i'm intrigued to try it out but i also will say just looking at yeah when i see how they work like use them on the model i can tell that they're using it more as a one product like as a bronzer blush highlight thing just on the cheeks all together and not necessarily maybe as much as like sculpting, more like a blush highlight bronzer all in one product, which could be beautiful. That's a great product to bring on like a sun vacation. And I mean, that's what I was hoping that glowy bronzer from Kosas was gonna be, but it smelled like old french fries from McDonald's that's like stale in the, the back of the fryer. So if this could be that without that smell, that would be lovely. Speaking of french fries, <laughs> 
<laughs> That's the bridge that I never thought we were gonna cross. But speaking of smelling like McDonald's, this is a collab between McDonald's and a fragrance brand that is now available in Japan, which brings me little to no surprise, but this is a fragrance with the scent of fries. And no, you are reading the date correctly. It is not the 1st of April yet. The post says that this exists. Let's just start there. The post says that this exists. It is McDonald's Japan is releasing a fragrance with the scent of fries. It comes as a layering set with a seasoning to add to the fries. This is what I'm gonna say. This is photoshopped. So is this real? I mean, I've been to Japan. I would not be surprised if it's real. But if you look at this, I think we all can see that this is photoshopped, right? We're all seeing that. So I am just going to guess that maybe they're doing an April Fool's Japan edition a little early. What do I know? I don't know. But I am just going to leave that there as someone who knows a little bit about Photoshop. I'm pretty, pretty positive that this is not a real ad. I might be wrong, but I'm just sowing a seed. Persona is releasing some eye paints. This, okay, I'm going to try and be nice. This confuses me. Persona is one of those brands that I respect and I look up to, as an owner of an indie brand myself, I look up to their way of releasing products because they don't overwhelm themselves or the consumer with a million different SKUs. Like they don't release a blush in a million different colors, which is very costly. Like just releasing a blush in a couple of colors is extremely costly. Releasing something like this in just a couple of colors, if you want to do them good, it's very costly. And every color that you add on, it becomes excessively expensive. So just releasing three colors of a liquid eyeshadow is something that I actually can respect. But to bring them out in a bright pink and two shades of copper, that's where you lost me. In a component that looks like those liquid lipsticks we bought on eBay for a dollar each in 2016. That's where you lost me because this does not look like something I would want to get. So there's two coppers and a bright pink. And uh, again, I really respect the way that they release products. They release what they want to release, regardless of what is popular or not in the colors that they want to release them in. They never do too many SKUs. They never do too many releases. And even though the releases isn't appealing to me, I respect the way that they, they run things over at Persona. This is to me a little mystifying. It's already available, I think. I'll link them down below. Sol de Janeiro is releasing something that I kind of honestly already thought they had. When I saw this, they're coming out with like some like sun protective things. And I was like, wait, they don't have that? So that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. They're coming out with products with SPF 50 and with the Sheriosa 86 fragrance enriched with coconut water, Patanga extract, blah, 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 all these kinds of things. And it is an SPF 50 body spray, an SPF 50 body lotion, and an SPF 50 body oil. This is coming March 27th to Sephora, a million percent. I will be trying this and I honestly think I might get the oil because I think that that could be really nice because it is really nice to have oil on your skin during summer and if you can get SPF 50 in a body oil, I think that that is a match made in heaven. But I gotta say, I kind of thought they already... <laughs> I thought they had this. I don't always talk about like Catrice or Essence because a lot of the time I think that they're collections and again, I'm gonna sound mean, I don't think they look that appealing. But this looks really cute. This is a limited edition Seeking Flowers collection. And this one has a bunch of different things. It is supposedly coming soon to their website. And they have like an orange cream blush and an orange, I think it's a hydrating lip stain. You know what? There's a couple of things in this collection that I'm like, huh, that looks cute. It doesn't look luxurious, but it looks really cute. And there's some interesting colors. There's bright oranges and bright fuchsias together with some pants that have some nice like uh, embossing in it. I'm kind of about this. I think it looks really pretty. I, yeah, I might pick something up. At least those orange things. Who's surprised? 
Don't raise your... Put your hand down. You're not surprised. If you are, you're new here. <laughs> Same here, Profusion. Not a brand that I talk about a lot. I don't think that their things look that appealing, but either it's the things that look appealing or it's the product photography of this collection that looks really appealing. But this is the Petal Perfect, which is their spring collection, and it looks super cute. Uh, that palette, absolutely not. But there's something about the product photography that just makes this look very appealing. Can I just say the packaging, the packaging of this Profusion blush, it's the same packaging as it is for the Moira um, blushes or like highlighters that they had. So my guess is they're buying packaging from the same factory. There's nothing wrong about that. That's how you keep things affordable is to not make custom packaging. That's it. Packaging is expensive. So I'm just, that's what I thought when I saw this, but I think that this looks, it could be the product photography. I could see this in my Walmart and be, no, we're not doing that. But the photography, whoever did that, you deserve a raise. And there's a new mascara at the drugstore as well. And this is Maybelline's Sensational Firework Mascara. And it is a plastic bristled wand. And I love a plastic bristled wand. So I'm definitely gonna be trying this one out. It is $14 and it is a super spark brush, grabs lashes, shooting them up and out. Sounds amazing to me. Apparently it's available for pre-order, but I'll just pick this up when I see this at like a Target or a CVS or something. But I think that this looks really nice. I love Maybelline mascaras. I love mascaras with a, a plastic bristle wand. So I'm definitely gonna be trying this one. Maybe it'll be a favorite. Oh, there's another thing from Charlotte Tilbury. I forgot to talk about this one. This is to me interesting that she would come out with because a lot of brands, and you've seen this as well, a lot of brands have released that product that is in like a serum for the face with the bronzing drops in it. Like Drunk Elephant made them popular and now every brand under the sun is releasing them and you're gonna see even more come this summer, I can tell you that right now. But Charlotte Tilbury is going in a different direction and she is releasing their beautiful Skin Island Glow Easy tanning drops which is a self tanner with a dropper and i've had one of these products from before and it is very handy you drip it in your night cream or you drip it in your day cream and you put it on your face because if you're like me and you tan on your body but you always scrub your tan off in your face a self tanning drop in your day cream just one drop will make your skin the same color as your face and usually these tanning drops are formulated in a way so that actually don't break you out as well. I've used a product like this before and I think the main reason why I stopped using it is because it smelled a lot like self-tanner. So I'm thinking this is going to be one of those I kind of want to smell it in store and I want to see if it smells like a self-tanner because I feel like self-tanners has come a long way. They've come such a long way where they now give you that good result without smelling like a 1992 self-tanner. So I wanna smell this one before I buy it, but I could be intrigued because this is a product that me personally, I prefer over those glowing drops. With that being said, Glow Recipe did send me the Hue drops and I wanna try them out and see if I love them. I got them yesterday. We'll try them out and see if they're good. Say is coming out with a concealer. This is the Slip Tint Radiant All Over Concealer with Niacinamide. It is a lightweight, non-comedogenic? -com -com Comedogenic. Comedogenic. Is, this, is that how you say it? I might say it incorrectly. Um, natural radiant, medium coverage, uh, blah, 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 blah. Finish natural coverage medium, which in theory, Theory sounds like something I could like. I have only tried one product from Say Beauty. I think that this concealer, I could be interested, but I'm not running to buy it. Maybe, I'll put a maybe in this one. What have you tried from Say Beauty? Oh, so many people are loving those liquid blushes from Say. I have one in my wish list for the Sephora sale. Let me know as a friend. As a friend, is it worth it? Should I take it out of my wish list or should I get it in the sale? You, you can tell me as friends. Speaking of Moira, I forgot to talk about this. Moira is releasing more shades, six new shades to their liquid blushes. This is what I told you. Some brands have either the budget or the place in their warehouse to have 30 different shades of blush and they'll just release 
every shade that they can think of. And then there are some brands like Persona where they're like, no, we're just gonna have three or four shades. And I kind of prefer that to just like, what are the four shades that represent our brand? I kind of like that. I think Persona might even only have three as well, which again, I kind of like it. Persona has great powder blush formula, by the way. I have not tried this blush formula from uh, Moira. I said that next time Moira released an eyeshadow palette I was gonna buy, I didn't because I didn't like the eyeshadow palette that they released, but as soon as they release an eyeshadow palette that I want, that I want, I'll make another order from the brand and we'll try a bunch of things, including these liquid blushes, even though I will say these shades look like neon pastels. They don't even look good on the model and I... I don't think this will be my journey. This I would have bought if it had been in another scent. Fleur is releasing a body oil. Why am I all of a sudden so interested in body oils? Maybe it's because I'm looking forward to summer so much, but this body oil, they're releasing it in the scent Missing Person, which is the most like popular scent and I totally get it. It is not my favorite scent from Fleur. And if they release a body oil in another scent, it is game over. I'm definitely buying it. I think this one is $45, which honestly, it's not that much money for a body oil. And I'm guessing you're getting, I don't know how much product is in here, but in the body oil, it should be a bunch of product. If I could get this in another, what? Okay, wow, I am making no sense. Is there another fragrance brand that has fragranced body oil? I could be about that. I could even splurge on that if I could get it in a scent that I already like. Cause it needs to be, cause I don't want to get like just a body fragrance body oil. I want to get it with like a, in like an actual, like a scent that I know and love. What brands do that? Maybe you can make your own. No, that probably doesn't work. I could be that person. If you love missing person, I honestly think that this could be a good deal. Don't run and buy it now though. Although I will say it might sell out, but like wait for the Sephora sale. You can get some money off, even 10% off something like this. You, you don't need a body oil now. Like we're in March, you can wait a bit. I think a lot of like designer houses has seen how much money there is in beauty and they are now coming up with their beauty brands. Celine wants to be part of that as well. I, I think that this kind of makeup is gonna be very, the exact same thing as every other designer house. I think that me being excited about Prada beauty is that Prada fashion is just so fun and quirky and just over the top and just groundbreaking and rule breaking and just, I really love Prada fashion a lot. Celine is very, it's gonna be Chanel makeup. It's gonna be Chanel makeup. Don't expect anything else but Chanel makeup. You're not gonna get groundbreaking things. I mean, they are coming out in 2025, but this year they're releasing one lipstick in a classic red as to like a sneak peek of the brand. And expect that red lipstick to probably be kind of a, like a little bit of a sneak peek into what the entire brand is gonna be. It is gonna be Chanel, but instead of Chanel, it's Celine. That's what you're gonna get. Let's end with talking about a Swedish brand that used to be only fashion, but they're now getting into some beauty. And I'm not super surprised. This is Swedish influencer Matilda Järf, and she is coming out with some hair care products. And I don't think anyone, anyone's surprised. And Järf Avenue, they're coming out with a beauty section and they are starting with launching two different hair products. And if I'm not totally mistaken, one of them is almost like a hairspray texture spray that is non-crispy. It's like a flexible hold hairspray texture spray that gives your hair like it holds your hair and gives it a little bit of an oomph without making it crispy. And the other one is a product to tame frizz if you wanna have a more toned down look or if you wanna like hold your hair back. These are hair products from someone who is 50% of like her influence, Matilda, is her amazing hair. She has an amazing 2000s uh, Farrah Fawcett look going on. And then her fashion, which enabled her to be able to launch her own fashion brand, which is Jeff Avenue. I don't own anything from it myself because it is the kind of like styles that I don't usually wear, but I think it's very 
cool that she's going down that avenue of just being avenue <laughs> of just like releasing classics in a more of a modern way and these hair products honestly they seem pretty cool i don't know if i'm in the market for looking for them but i think it's very smart to capitalize on something that she's so well known for which is her hair but i think that will be everything for today Ugh. I hope you are having a great Friday. Don't forget that we're having a live later tonight. If you are part of my membership, again, go and check the community tab in case you have been missing the information. Everything is gonna be right there. I am so grateful that you're here watching until the very end. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help out. And thank you again, Halara, for sponsoring the beginning part of this video. I am such a big Halara fan. I wear their pieces all the time. I hope your weekend is gonna be absolutely amazing. The algorithm has been recommending a video to you here on the side, something that they think is going to be great for you. But if you have to go, you have to go. And I will see you soon in my next video. Bye.